Welcome back. So it's growing season. Everything's looking good. Well, I wish it was that easy, but you're going to have to deal with pests, whether it's certain insects or wildlife. But I wanted to go over a quick few tips because I noticed some issues and I want to uh, touch base on them. So here we have my parsley. And I noticed if you look in and you can zoom in, you can see right there, beautiful guy or girl down here, another one. And then right over here, you get right in there, you can see it's even a different one. So what I wanted to touch base with is you're going to see that and you're like, oh no, it's bad. Kill it. You really have to do your research because there's even more beneficial insects than there are negative insects. So when you look at something, you're like, caterpillar, kill it. Well, this is actually a black swallowtail butterfly. So I don't want to kill this. So what I do is I keep an eye on it. There's only three here that I found now. I'm going to let them eat. I'm gonna let them go through their cycle and move on. I got plenty of parsley, I grew extra. Some people will grow certain pots that they just are gonna let. You can actually take these and move them to those pots that you designate for the insects or wildlife. This guy down here, he's different. Oh no, he's a, he's a caterpillar for a moth, something bad. Not really, that's actually just the juvenile. So he hasn't quite gotten it as big as these guys, so that's why he's different. So you really have to make sure you know what the insect is before you decide to treat it and if you do treat it how you treat it you know google has a great little feature where you can just hit the camera button take a picture of it and it'll generally give you a, a good idea of what it is and if you look over here another telltale sign is something called aphids very hard to see but what i look for is these white flakes and if you can see any of these white flakes on this parsley which show up really well right down there at the base can really see some white flakes. And that's gonna be the sign that I look for for aphids. And I'm gonna show you, here's the leaf right here. If you can zoom in, you see those bright green little dots? Those are the aphids. So they're hard to see, and that's kind of why with certain insects, they're so small, you, it's easier to look for the damage or the signs of them than it is to find the insects. Spider mites, for example, I'll touch base on those when I find uh, a little outbreak. But with aphids, if um, they do have black uh, peach aphids, those are easy to see. But the green ones, very hard. They blend in with a lot. So you look for that white, that's basically their shell casing as they molt. And it's very easy to uh, find them. And in this case, I do have some aphids. But when I was looking, I also saw a few spiders and some ants. So Mother Nature does help you out. It does have natural um, predatory insects for these things. And the aphid population isn't too bad, but I know I have it. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this plant. I'm gonna go check my other plants, see what, if they have any uh, insect infestation yet. Cause they, what they have is a threshold. So once you see one or two insects, it hasn't reached a threshold for treating. You can go treat that plant, but with only two insects on it, there's gonna be more in the future. So what you do is you keep an eye on your plants. And there's certain, a lot of the university extensions have uh, great resources and information on thresholds for specific crops. And I just know from doing it long enough that once it reaches a certain point, that's when I will decide to treat it and try to wipe out a major section of the population. And hopefully it diminishes it so much that it won't come back. It also reduces how much you have to treat or spray. But in this case, not terrible yet, still early. So I'm gonna keep an eye on uh, this. Go check the rest of my garden. Basically what I want you to get from this video is if you find things, scout regularly, and if you find things, make sure you know what they are before you decide if you're gonna treat it. And then if you are, if it is a bad insect, how you're gonna treat it and the proper thresholds at which to treat it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Thanks.